U.S. Open. And there you go, you see him on your screen, Aiden Mateo in the red and Hopkins in the blue. They met at the U.S. Open, Mateo attacked him, made quick work of him, and we'll see. Mateo gonna try to do it again. Hopkins, can he make the adjustments? You see a Teo. I'm curious to find out. Yeah, Hopkins got the height advantage, Teo uh, short, but the amount of power he's able to generate with that, uh, that lower midsection, the haunches, is unbelievable. I think when he pivots his hips, he could move uh, a whole mountain, a whole Fargo dome if he wanted to. So it's Aiden Ateo in the red, Coy Hopke in the blue, Ateo, Idaho, Hopke, Wisconsin, and Hopke taking some ground, looks for a drag. Ateo, good positioning, but he still has a foot in the zone. Hopke taking some ground, now Hopke hard snap. You get the feeling Hopke has game planned for Ateo more than he did in their first meeting. Mateo trying to pummel in. Mateo, a senior, he's going to Oregon State next year. Hockey will be a senior next year, and he's headed to Minnesota in 2024. And, oh my goodness, big arm spin for, for Mateo. This guy is so savvy in freestyle Greco and Hop and Mateo looking for a cut wrench. He's got it. Yeah, this man is a uh, U20 bronze medalist overseas, and uh, those are hard to come by for Americans, international guys. A lot of the Europeans focus on Greco uh, to a larger degree, but Ateo has cracked the code. Let's look at this arm throw. Yeah, great arm throw, and oh. we are back to action. It's 6-0 for Ateo, the arm throw and the gut wrench. I mentioned he's got that international medal. Koi Hopke, a U17 world champion, so neither of these guys slouches. They are highly accomplished heavyweights. Yeah, it, it used to be much more rare to see age level medals uh, in the U.S. system. Uh, U17 and U20 medals, you'd have won a tournament. Now it's almost uh, automatic. You'd be disappointed if you didn't have a handful of golds. Uh, team USA is uh, competing for team titles. Every tournament they enter, the talent keeps going up and up and up. And uh, part of that is on display here, as you mentioned. Two world medalists. Ateo currently at number two in the country, Hopke number three, and now an over-under position. This probably favors Ateo, and he, man, just quick movements that get big reactions. Ateo moving forward on the edge. Hopke controlled the wrist. Ateo gets that big underhook, and now coming towards the edge, gonna get the step out. Yeah, when you're able to take ground from a guy like Hopke. Very large, very powerful, but Ateo cutting off all his angles of escape and he can't go forward and he ends up going out of bounds. So another point for Ateo. Underhook Ateo and Hopke trying to control the wrist on the opposite side. Now switches to an over-under position. Ateo taking ground. Hopke underhook, looks to snap. Not much of a reaction out of Ateo. Tail driving Hopke forward. Oh, now Hopke gets around behind. And gonna be one for Hopke. Avoids the shutout. We, yeah, I, I wondered if we'd see caution one since Hopke was in such good position to potentially get more than one, but just the one. It's interesting you see Teo, a Greco-Roman. I don't know, he would consider himself a specialist, but he certainly does thrive in, in Greco-Roman uh, competitions. But he goes for a leg there kind of for the first time, and that's when Hopke was able to uh, effectively counter it. 7-1, the score at the break for Aiden Atteo. And Hopke trying to get Wisconsin another champ. It would be their fifth. Already Wisconsin will have the most champions. They will double up the next uh, state as far as uh, stop signs. Uh, in the junior division, got to look at the 16U, but Illinois has two, Iowa has two, PA has two, and Wisconsin has four. They can add one more, or Idaho could get their first championship. Either way, Idaho getting their first finalist here, uh, or they got their first finalist when Ateo won in the semis. Second period underway, 7-1. Ateo leads Hopke. Hopke with the impetus to score, he's got a find his way to some points, and Ateo, a tough guy, and there's a shot. Hopke going double leg, and Hopke gets the ankles. This is his best attack yet. Ateo putting a lot of pressure on, and 
Wow. Hockey didn't go over. The, the amount of force on that neck as Ateo was trying to force him over. Good adjustment by Hopke. He's going to bring the single leg up and going to get the takedown. Koi Hopke now with a leg lace and it slips out. Good takedown though, hard earned and really low level attack. Got to the ankles and that's exactly what Hopke needed. Yeah, 7-3, time to work, uh, but having given up a four, Hopke needs more than just two twos. Nix means he's gonna have to work a little bit more. Two minutes left. Shot, Hopke gets a good angle on it. Collects that second ankle, but Mateo, oh my goodness, I think he may get two on the exposure. They didn't give it to him, and now they're gonna give it to him. Mateo gets two, and Mateo may just go right back to that lock, and sure enough, that's what he does. It's 9-3, Mateo. There was two offered for Hopke from the judge. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if anybody saw it. It wasn't even <laughs> white paddled. I know someone who saw it. Yeah, I, sorry, I mean the other officials. <laughs> Yeah, not, not kind of their, that counter from Mateo, I don't think I've ever seen that before. His ankles were basically together and he just jumped to the other, he sat down and went backwards. But Hopke now quick finish, 9-5, and he's figured something out. He may just go right back to that and looking for the trapped arm is Hopke. And this is the kind of match that you would expect between two age level world medalists. Yeah, nobody backing down, no quarter ass, none given. 70 seconds, Hopke needs another, once again, still needs two scores plus one, or a four-pointer. Teow going right at him, Hopke slips his grip. Nice adjustment, Hopke gets the finish. It's 9-7. Right yeah, the corner wants him to pick it up. He can get a turn, he needs to torque it back to his left. There it is! Hopke trying to settle in for the fall. He's it's got 40 nine, seconds, nine. lots of time. Aiden Ateo fighting hard, and he doesn't have much left. Hopke gonna settle in. Koi Hopke looking for the fall. Is he gonna get it? He's close. The official shaking his head no, and there it is. Koi oh. Hopke comes from behind. Koi Hopke. He no is fear. fired up. Wisconsin going nuts. Hopke by fall comes from behind. Gives Wisconsin six. Five. Excuse me, five Fargo champs out of six attempts. Hand raise for Hopke. Huge comeback win. So that's going to haunt a tail. He was right there, so close, but credit.